Okay, it's been a while since I made one of these suckers, but this is an icosadodecahedron. It's actually a pretty easy design. What you have is um, more or less these equators um, that have 10 balloons in them. And here, I've made this thing with uh, six different colors of balloons, and so it's pretty easy to see um, the six rings fitting together. And so if you, if you look at a particular uh, pentagon, you'll see five colors. And then on the outside, uh, here, the, uh, the purple one isn't part of that. Um, and that will that'll work every, uh, every time. So if you, if you look at this one, then the blue one's not part of this um, um, pentagon. And so it's now an equator uh, like this. Now, I'm going to get a video up soon that shows me making this. But... Um, here's a design of, of what I've just uh, showed you there. And as you can sort of see, um, 10 segments for each balloon. And um, it's a really regular design. I'm sure if you're a balloonist, you could get really quick at this. And the reason why I was thinking about this is I was looking at a video from Mike of PA, and he was making a, a balloon, uh, a hot air balloon balloon. <laughs> And I was thinking maybe something like this might not be too bad for that. Um, it's, only, it's only six balloons and it might uh, be okay. What I was actually thinking is perhaps if you were to use um, uh, 350s rather than uh, 260s, it might actually be a little bit tighter and be, um, like this one's a little bit, you know, um, not as stable perhaps because uh, there's so much hollow uh, stuff in the middle here. Anyway, something to consider, uh, but there you have it, an Icosa Dodecahedron. Cheers.